Hey, what is going on guys? It's Kanye here from Menu Dogs, and welcome back to a new video on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be diving into an Apex Legend command. As you can see right now, we have a basis of the setup. We are requiring Rich Embed from the Discord.js uh, package. We're requiring a hex um, value, which is cyan. We're requiring strip indents from the common tags. And then we've got a new module here, which is Apex tab dash API. And then you're going to want to add this at the end with a comma. First thing we're going to do in the run function is check if a, the first argument is provided. And if not, we're going to return. And then on this return, we're going to send a message to the channel in which the person ran the command. And we're going to say, please supply a username. On the following line, we're going to do pretty much the exact same thing. However, we're going to ask for the second argument in the message content. And if it is not provided, we're going to send a message saying, please supply a platform to check. And then at the end, we'll add PC, we'll add Xbox, and then we will add or, and then we're going to add PS4. There we go. Then we're going to go down two lines and we're going to add a constant. And this one's going to be called platform uh, check here going to be equal we're going to have an object and this is going to be pc we're going to add api dot platform dot pc next in line we're going to have ps4 actually we should probably go in order we'll do we'll do xbox equals api dot platform dot xbox underscore one then we're going to do ps4 and then we're going to add obviously api dot platform dot uh p s4 here then underneath this we're going to do cunt platform equals um we're going to do platform check and we're going to do args one to lowercase to lowercase and then Obviously adding semicolons as you go along. They aren't necessarily needed until they are needed. Uh, we're going to add a try catch here. If you guys don't know what a try catch is, uh, please do Google. Um, we're going to add error. That's short for error. Inside this try, we're going to add const results equals await. And now this await is possible because of the asynchronous um, function here. We're going to be doing apex tab dot search player and then we're going to add args zero is the first parameter and then we're going to do a ternary operator here platform uh platform or it's going to be um platform dot pc now obviously because this is awaited um the code won't go any further until it is returned after this we're going to do a for loop and then we're going to do player player result result of results dot results and then we're going to open our brackets here uh, we're going to do const player equals await apex tab dot get player id and we're going to do player result um, dot aid so this is also awaited, so the code won't go any further until that is returned. And then we're going to do const, and then we're going to do object deconstructions here. We're going to get name, skill ratio, visits, if I can spell that right. Visits, avatar, legend, uh, legend level, kills, headshots, matches, global, rank, and then finally u time and then we're gonna obviously do player here next we're gonna go down two lines we're gonna indent some more we're gonna do embed equals new rich embed and then do set color this is where we're gonna add our cyan color we're gonna do set author the author is obviously gonna be origin origin and then apex legends thing here we're going to do name and this is going to display the name of the person and then we're going to add a second parameter which is going to be avatar we're going to do set thumbnail as avatar then we're going to do set disc 
description and now this is where we're going to use strip indents um, and in the strip indents we're going to go forward one we're going to do active legend so this will be the last legend that they used we're going to do legend or um, not found full stop then we're going to go next line we're going to do global rank and that global rank is going to be obviously calling upon the global rank and then we're going to add not ranked as the fullback we should probably capitalize this as well um, just so it looks a little bit better next in line we're going to add level and then level is literally going to be level and we're going to add an all zero uh, we're just going to take that down then we'll do a skill ratio obviously all this text is going to be bolded and we do skill ratio or zero percent zero percent oh wait hold up i'm going to string that and then do zero percent do this again we're going to do matches matches do matches and then we're going to add an or operator do zero we're going to do kills this can get a little bit repetitive when you're you're writing the command kills or zero and we're going to add what we're we going to add headshots next headshots we're going to do headshots or zero then next is visits and this is how many times their profile is being visited on the apex tab website um, do visits or zero and then finally we're going to do playtime and then their playtime we're going to use a little bit of math here we do math dot seal and then obviously we're going to do utime slash then we're going to do what done and then 60 and then 60 and then 24 and now at the end of here we're going to add days or we can do the or operator here and do zero days so after that that's pretty much done we're going to backspace this and then we're going to do set time out that's uh, sorry set timestamp and then two lines down we're going to go back one space to do message.channel.send and we're going to send the embed now we need to do something about this try catch so unfortunately with the and what we're going to do is find can't find a player by that name so this is like unfortunately with this the pc one doesn't work when it returns uh, it it actually just completely breaks the code but for some reason xbox and ps4 they return a json format saying that they isn't a player found so i don't know what's happened there it's probably just a, an overlooked uh thing in the module here um but as you can see we are done now after this we're going to obviously run the bot but as we're transitioning into discord i'm going to show you the oxide hosting sponsorship video this video is proudly sponsored by oxide hosting with this hosting company, you can never go wrong. They provide outstanding customer support and all for a low price. Their services range from website hosting to Minecraft server hosting. If you are interested in them, be sure to check out the link in the description below. So we're now in Discord. And as you can see, I've already been checking it in the testing thing. Uh, we're gonna check for a PC player. It's gonna respond with his previous uh, previously used uh, thing he's global rank blah 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 obviously if they have an avatar set in the origins thing it will respond with that this guy's playing 19 things um but i'll show you here that you can do like ps4 and that but it won't respond with um obviously anything because it depends where their main is located i'm pretty sure you can have like three separate accounts with the same name over over the platform which is weird they should just uh, do cross-platform uh, like Fortnite does. 
anyways guys thank you so much for watching the video i do apologize for the lack of uploads there was a little bit of a scheduling issue with the jda videos so i had to let them play out before i got back to doing the discord.js tutorials there will be many more to come and i hope to get a lot more backed up so that there will be a consistent time when they come out fortunately at the moment they will come out every two weeks there won't be a set date for it um but i'll let you guys know in the discord linked in the description if there will become a set date for it um not set day a set day um but yeah anyways guys thank you so much for watching this has been connor here from menu docs and i hope you have enjoyed this video um and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace